Hey, guess what? We're at Fantastic Worlds Comics in Scottsdale, Arizona. And surprise, surprise, we're doing new release comic books. And this is for the week of Wednesday, August 3rd. Check out the previous video yesterday, which was DC only. This video is going to be Marvel and all the other publishers, including this crazy cat. So let's get started. First off, we have Marvel. And let me get the lighting right here. All right. Peach Momoko's Demon Wars number one. There we go. Iron Samurai. Then we have an Alex Maliv cover. Some beautiful artwork. And another Peach Momoko variant. If you've been following the Momoko series, um, setting X-Men stories set in feudal Japan, this, I think, is... The big finale, Demon Wars. Up next, a big anticipated number one from Marvel, and that is Edge of Spider-Verse. Number one. Inside, see? Spider-Man Noir, Aranya, Spider-Laird, Spider-Rex. Ooh, that should be interesting. All right, let's try it with the light off. Maybe some less glare. We got a... Scotty Young variant for Edge of Spider-Verse number one. We have the Ron Lim connecting variant, and there he is, Spider-Rex. So this is something speculators might be jumping on that cover. We have a blank, perfect for sketches and autographs and remarks. And we have an incentive, retailer's incentive variant with the Aranya design on it. So there you go, Edge of Spider-Verse. Numero uno, then we move on to Ghost Rider, number five, by Benjamin Percy. There she is, cover A, and of course there's a variant, and of course it's going to be cool, because it's Ghost Rider, and there she is. Up next... And this is part of, so it's Immortal X-Men, number five, but more importantly, it's part of the Judgment Day event, Avengers X-Men Eternals. So here is the cover A to that, and that has an Emma Frost variant. So there we go, Immortal X-Men, number five. Then we have Iron Man, number 22. The beautiful Alex Ross cover and an Iron Man versus Predator variant. These are really cool. I like this one a lot. And I believe this is a Raza variant. Shame on me for not knowing. I only got one of these puppies. Check that out. Now back to some X Men, and this is not tied to Judgment Day for some reason, but it is Legion of X. Number four, cover A, only cover. Then we have Mech Strike, Monster Hunters, number two. So this is the Avengers and assorted Marvel characters all mechaed out with a very cool variant. Then let's see, the ever popular Moon Knight. Issue number 14. There he is on the therapist bed. Looks like, I don't know. Anyways, Moon Knight 14 with a Spider-Man variant. Then we have New Fantastic Four, number three. Spidey, Hulk, Ghost Rider, Wolverine, pretending to be the FF. And that has a variant. Look at that. Then we have Spider-Man... 2099 Exodus number five. And that is introducing so first appearance of X-Men 2099. So far, every issue of this series has had a first appearance. I believe last week it was our last issue it was Black Widow 2099. Now it's X-Men 2099. So you might want to jump aboard on these. Got the frame variant, which are very popular. And I believe this is a connecting variant. So there we go. 
Sticking with the Spidey theme, we got Spidey Punk, Spider Punk, number four. There we go, no variant this week for that. Then we have from Disney, via Marvel, Star Wars, Galactic Star Cruiser, Halcyon Legacy, Halcyon Legacy, with Mr. Bosk on the cover. There we go, and that of course will have a couple variants. There are the Bounty Hunters and Mr. Bosk again. So Halcyon, Halcyon Legacy number five. Then we move it on to X-Men Red number five. And this is a Judgment Day tie-in, unlike Legion of X, but like Immortal X. So we got two Judgment Day tie-ins, X-Men Red number five. Let's check out the cover. That is pretty cool. And for the final Marvel book of the week, X-Men 92, House of 92, issue number three. And there it is. So these are the Marvel new releases. Let's move on to the other publishers. From Image, we have Jonathan Luna's 20XX, 20XX, Transport. Um, this book actually, so it was a webcomic where he would release several panels at a time and the fans would decide what happens next, kind of in a choose-your-own-adventure style. So here is the completed comic with the total story where all the plot points were decided by the readers. So that's kind of a cool concept. This is a one-shot. Check it out. From American Mythology Monsters, or American Mythology, sorry, uh, publishers, we have Monsters, number one, I think it's Monsters Volume 3, number one, but it is, we only have one of these, and we got a racy cover, so whoop, quick flash, that one's pretty cool, then we have Ant, number four, Enter the Dragon, um, so a Savage Dragon crossover, obviously, as only Image can do, then from Dark Horse, we have Avatar, let's try the light again here, Adapt or Die, number four of six, so this is uh, warming you up for the upcoming movie later this year, Way of the Water, Adapt or Die, number four, there it is, we have from Boom Studios, Basilisk, issue number ten, back to Image again, we have Blood Stained Teeth, number four, some of you might be wondering, well, wasn't that supposed to come out last week, it was, they shorted us, so it's finally here, number four. Then from Scout Comics, we got By the Horns, Dark Earth, number three. A little fantasy there for you. Back to Image, and James Tinian is The Closet. And this is issue number three. Dark Horse, Cyberpunk, 2077, issue three of four, the penultimate issue. Let's keep going. And then Vault Comics. It's kind of an anime style manga. It doesn't read like a manga. It's a traditional comic book. But the, I believe the art and story are anime manga origins. So that is Fox and Hare. And this is issue number two. There we are. From Dark Horse and from the world of Hellboy, we have Frankenstein, New World, number one. By Mike Mignola with a Mike Mignola cover. Frankenstein and a mushroom. Hmm. Could be interesting. Should be interesting for all you Hellboy fans. From IDW, G.I. Joe by the legendary Larry Hama. That man just cannot stop. And he is at issue number 296. Pretty incredible. And there is the cover. Looks like we are at Cobra Casino, and Snake Eyes is all in. Doubling down. That is an amazing variant cover featuring, featuring a rogues gallery. So G.I. Joe 296. Sticking with IDW, we have a one-shot here, and it is Godzilla Rivals. Batra. So Godzilla versus Batra. This is kind of an extra thick comic. Good stuff. That has a kaiju variant. Onto Antarctic Press. We have Gold Digger, 
291. I don't even want to know what's happening there, but she's in trouble. Then we have from Image, number one from Chrissy Williams, Golden Rage. This has some beautiful artwork inside. Then also with Image, from the superstar team of Jeff Lemire and Dustin Nguyen, is Little Monsters number six. This book is critically acclaimed. People are loving it. Then from Boom, we got Mighty Morphin and number 22. It's Power Ranger action. From the crazy mind of Matt Kent comes Mind Management Bootleg number two. This is a pretty wild comic if you're familiar with the Mind Management series. Then from Boom, number 28, Kieran Gillen, Once and Future. Then from Dynamite, got Project Superpowers, number five. Project Superpowers, Fractured States. Also from Dynamite, Red Sonia, Red Sitha, number four. Then we have Rick and Morty, Crisis on C-137. And this is a number one. That is the A cover, and that is the B cover. Rick and Morty, Crisis on C-137, number one. From AWA Upshot, we have Sacrament by Peter Milligan. And this is kind of a futuristic science fiction meets religion story. It looks actually pretty interesting with some good art. Back to Image Comics, we got the Scumbag. And it's been a while since we've seen an issue of this, but here is number 14. This is by Rick Remender. Rick Remender, and this is a crazy, crazy story for adults only. All right, from The Todd Father, we have Spawn, number 332, cover A. Cover B, Spawny, from superstar Chip Zdarsky, currently writing the Batman comics, Stillwater, number 14. This is a cool series. Mirka and Dolfo, Sweet Paprika, number 11. There is the main cover, and there is a very fun variant cover, Sweet Paprika. Also from Image, Time Before Time, number 15. From IDW, we got a one-shot, Transformers, Best of the Rarities. So they've been doing these extra thick, glossy Transformers Best of, always character-oriented. So this one is not focusing on a spe specific character, but on several little, maybe side characters, important moments. Here you go, Decepticons Forever. Anyway, that is the best of a rarities. Then we have Twig. Number four from Scotty Young. This has been crazy popular, actually. And that comes with a retailer's incentive variant, which is a gorgeous virgin cover. Then we have the Scotty Young variant and the Peach Momoko variant. Then from American Mythology Productions, we got Two Gun Terror. Wild West Horror. Then from Aftershock, we got the Vineyard number one. This looks pretty cool. If you enjoy wine with your horror comic, then this might be the comic for you. And then last but not least, Robert Kirkman's The Walking Dead Deluxe, and we are at issue number 44 for that. So there you go, folks. These are the new releases for Wednesday. August 2nd, uh, once I've done all the pulls, pre-orders, special orders, whatever's left, hits the racks. So if you want to start your own pull list, stop by the shop, get discounts and perks. Let's see if we can get this camera to focus again. Oh boy, there we go. If you're watching this on the Absolute Geek Network, then we appreciate. Hope you've subscribed. Click like, share, comment. Check out our live stream, live show on Friday nights, Absolute Geek Podcast. Join the chat. It can get crazy. And until then, we will see you for new comic book day.